Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Enderling Extinction is Forever on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now in the previous video we made our way to lair number 3 and we also followed a few more of those scent trails and we discovered that it seems like the scavenger is trying to sell Stripe for money so that he can pay for medicine for his sick daughter. So we found out that the scavenger is maybe not necessarily as bad as we thought he was the first time we saw him. And we also learnt two new skills, the final two skills with our cubs, actually three new skills. We learnt the high jump ability so that our cubs can now jump up on higher ledges purely because they've gotten bigger now. And we also learnt the, um, the disarm ability so we can break ourselves out of traps and also so that we can um, uh, break bear traps. And we also learnt the ability to dangle so we can now dangle down over ledges to grab like eggs and stuff like that. And that's also the way that you get the Easter egg, which is a, another gold trophy for this game. But uh, yeah, we're going to be spending the next few nights just surviving now. There's not really much else we need to do. We're just basically on the home stretch to the end of the game now. So yeah, let's uh, get straight into things. But as you can see, all three of our cubs, Stitch, Scar and Simba, are all looking very fluffy, very big and very healthy. So we have been doing a very good job of looking after them. I think we've only had maybe one or two situations where we've been pretty close to them maybe being near to starving, so we've done very well in this game. Obviously, it's not a blind playthrough, but you know things can always go wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I think things have gone pretty damn well, actually. I'm very happy with it. I'm not going to dig in that um, rubbish bag because I already did it once in the previous video and it might end up putting a bag around my head and I don't want that. But we're going to make our way back to the lair now. I think we need to get to night 28 or 29, maybe. Maybe night 30, I don't know. But this will probably be the final episode. Right, stop leading me back to the rubbish. Ah, oh, yeah, we left that just for this situation. <laughs> just so we can have a delicious worm on the way back to the lair. Did you ever do that when you was a kid? Let me know in the comments. Did you ever used to go into like your nan and granddad's garden and just like dig for worms? Like pour water somewhere and then dig up worms and keep them in a pot. And then when you were done collecting them, just put them back in the flipping mud. <laughs> so it was kind of pointless doing it. <laughs> It's not even like you were keeping them for fishing or something. You literally just dig them up. All right, I've got a whole bowl of bloody worms now that are probably scared shitless, wondering what the hell's going on, and now I'm going to put them back in the mud. <laughs> it was very pointless, but I used to do that when I was a kid. I didn't kill them or anything. I just collected them and then put them back. I did the same with snails. But I shouldn't have put them back, actually, because they used to ruin my uh, nan and granddad's garden. If I did that in my other nan and granddad's garden, my other granddad, the one who passed away recently, unfortunately, if I did that in his garden and released the snails, he would have shot me. <laughs> he would have shot me. <laughs> he would have fucking killed me. Because he, he very much looked after his garden. He had a proper garden. I think I spoke about it during my dreams playthrough, because I made him like an honorary uh, garden in my like dreams hub area. Yeah. God. Man, 2020 was such a shit time, wasn't it? I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm trying not to resort to. I'm trying not to resort to eating any rubbish. Oh, sorry about the phone. I've got to leave it on lad because I'm still waiting for a hospital appointment. Um, I wonder if the badger's still gonna be in here. Yeah, the badger is here. And there you go. We've got deactivate traps. I thought it was called disarm. And we've got dangle. Lovely. That's such a beautiful sight. I'm so happy that the badger came with us. Because I said in a previous video, when I played off camera, I never rescued the baby badger. I had no idea. So, uh, I'm guessing it got killed or whatever. But, oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. Man, I, hope, I just hope it changes the ending of the game for some reason. Because I'm not looking forward to ending the game. <laughs> I really don't want to get to the end. Oh, here we go. We're heading out on another adventure. That's the point, actually. We still need to. We still need to find Stripe. I don't know when that's going to be coming up. If it's going to be coming up like now, or maybe on night twenty-nine, if we can try and rescue him. Because the only way that you can rescue your cub is if you followed every single one of these scent trails. If you missed any, I don't think you can rescue your cub. We also met the little girl in the previous video, but she tried to give us a berry, but she didn't have any. And then we. Uh, oh God! Oh God! Nearly got jumped by an owl then. Be careful because the owls will attack your cubs and they will kill them. But, um, 
Yeah, we then comforted her by allowing her to cuddle our uh, vixen over here. But yeah, she's very sick. Just got like pneumonia or something. Did you drop the boat? Oh, she fell out of the boat. <laughs> I thought he dropped the boat on his daughter. I was gonna say, fucking hell, man. Be careful, she's already sick. No need to crush her. And this is another reason why getting all of the uh, skills is useful. Because we wouldn't have been able to have enjoyed this lovely worm. There's also a, a can that we've got somewhere that we can squeeze, squeeze through and eat. Also, we might be able to get the trophy for eating all of the different food items. If I, if I eat the bag of crisps, I think that might be the last item. It might be up here, actually. Oh, no, I can't do it yet. I better follow this. There's a time limit. This might vanish if you don't do it. We'll try and get the packet of crisps after. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. Go on. Go and get us a tin of spam. Or a, or a burger, whatever it is. I think it has a burger symbol sometimes, which makes no sense. <laughs> no, no, it's just a can of, like, cat food or something. Yeah. Looks like they've left their uh, broken boat behind. Just doesn't seem like a very good mode of transport, does it? Right, so I think the bag of crisps, if I remember correctly, are maybe up here actually. They're on like a, they're on like a, a maybe on a picnic table or something. Yeah, so if, I, if I've had every other food type in the game, which I think I have, this might be the final one. And you should get a gold trophy for it. That's, that's flipping ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe we got that without even trying. Because I had to replay the entire game again. Well, I had to replay it anyway because I needed to rescue the badger. But I had to replay the entire game again because the one food item I didn't eat because I had to go on Google to check was that flipping deer. You know the deer that dies at the start of the game. If you don't eat that one, and literally you can only eat it on night one or two, and that's it. It's gone. And you've got to do the whole game again and eat every food item again. Which I had to do. <laughs> I was livid. I hate having to replay games for like literally one trophy. It really pisses me off. <laughs> I think it's probably quicker for us to go down this way. I know some people might be like, ah, oh, Beowulf, it's only a trophy. Just don't bother doing it. I, I literally cannot. I think it's like a bit of OCD at this point. But I kind of feel like if I haven't 100%ed the trophy list, I've not actually finished the game. You know, it feels a bit, I don't know. He took his bloody time to turn around, didn't he? You know, if your daughter's uh, apparently dying, judging by all of the scent trails we've been sniffing, it always wants me to eat some rubbish down here. I swear this is rubbish. Right, well, we'll see if we can get one tiny bit of food. There we go. You know, I'm not giving you any more, though. It's good, though, because every time you dig through the trash and you find some more rubbish... Uh, it, it gives them more and more hunger uh, satiation each time. So it's good to keep doing it, but then there's obviously the chance that you're going to get your vixen with a bag on her head, and you don't want that. It's not very nice. Don't want it to die, do you, when you've worked your ass off? Not that it matters if the vixen dies. You just have to restart the day. <laughs> but if the cubs die, obviously they're gone forever. Right, we're on night 26. I think we need to get to night 28. So if I was to try and end it right now, what would happen? Yeah, well, let me do it. Yeah, I think you need to get through at least half of the day. So what we'll do is we'll take our usual route so we can eat both of those rotten berries. And then once that's, once that's done, 
Well, maybe we'll start making our way back because there isn't really anything we need to do now. We've ate every food item in the game. We've also uh, collected every central, basically. We've also learned every skill, so there's not really much to do now. It's just it's just about getting to the end of the game now, and hoping that something different will happen. And there's a pigeon up there, isn't there? That one's always up there. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Let's have a look on the map. Well, apparently there's some sort of events going on over there. So I suppose we can have a look over there, see what it is. Sometimes those question marks are literally just uh, scratching posts where you can obviously leave your foxes a uh, mark so it distracts poachers and stuff if you're out during the day. I see an egg up there. We need the dangle ability. I, I mean, I could show you... Oh, man. I could show you where the Easter egg is. That's the only other trophy we'd need to get. What was that? What the hell was that? You can piss right off, you can. I just saw the little girl then. Oh, it looks like we can't interact with her. Well, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, look at that. I see a can of food over here. Oh, we're finding all the food. You see that flipping weirdo suddenly creeping after us then? <laughs> That's a bit like me when I'm at work when I'm trying to film the uh, foxes. Because they always sleep in this little location and I try and sneak up on them. Well, you might have already have seen all this, but I try and sneak up on them. <laughs> And uh, I get very, very close, but then, you know, something inevitably happens and they see me or they hear. It's not normally me they hear. Normally the wind will blow or a fly will land on them. Some shit like that just to ruin it for me. I'm B-Wolf the Wolf after all. I'm pretty sure a wolf can out-sneak a fox. Right, we'll go back home now. I, I, we're probably going to lose a bit of hunt. Yeah, we're going to lose quite a bit of hunger. How much are we going to lose? Ah, oh, not too bad. Oh, look. Oh, hello. Oh, thank you, buddy. I mean, we're going to lose all of that now. <laughs> oh, he's like, he's like a little friend. He, he's, like, he's cooked us a meal. Oh, man. Make sure you rescue that badger. It's going to make things so much easier. <laughs> I kind of wish he was doing that during Lair 2, to be honest. Or she, I should say. If you are lost, you can always check the map. I like how the fox is looking at the map, like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, ah, oh, this might be the moment. Yeah, this might be, if I have a look on the map. Oh, maybe it isn't the moment. It can't be the moment, that makes no sense, because the scavenger's over there. Oh, he must have one more scent trail to follow. I can hear an owl at the moment, so we want to watch out for that. <laughs> I love how, I love how uh, obedient the cubs are. <laughs> I love how they jump down as well and face plant into the floor. Oh god, that was close. I never thought an owl would creep me out. <laughs> It's so creepy. It literally looks like a hoot hoot from Pokemon or whatever it's called. Or Nocturne, is it Nocturne? Like Nocturnal but called Nocturne. It looks like that Pokemon. Alright, we on full hunger? Yes we are. I completely forgot what I was going to say now. Oh look, he took off his gas mask, look. Why are they all hanging around this place anyway? I don't even know why they're all hanging around here. I mean, look at the shit that's happened here. It's been taken over by scummy humans. 
don't know why you wouldn't have left this area. Make sure you're very careful around this area. I don't know if it's here, but there's a dog somewhere. Yeah. You see where that light is? It basically prevents you from being able to go the way that you normally want to go. Yeah, because if you go through that light, that dog will immediately kill your vixen. Do not go there. They won't kill the cubs, thankfully, but they will kill you, so do be very careful. I would... Well, I'm not going to show you, because I don't want to watch my fox get mauled, but... Yeah. Not nice. Is that a dead mass? Oh, well, there you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can't put it down yet. There's two dead mice. Oh, it's, oh, the area's been flooded, that's why. Why did you bring your daughter, who is sick, into the sewers? That does not seem like a good idea. Oops. Where's my, uh... Oh, there you go. I finally ate it. I was going to say, where's the mask on? Thinking about it, actually. I haven't played with any of the cups. Oh, lovely. <laughs> nice little twirl. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is rub. Yeah. Now nah, we're good. We'd rather starve. Yeah, this is the final scent trail you need to follow before you hopefully can rescue your cub. I apologise for all the beeps on my phone today. I don't even know who's messaging me. Oh, it's bloody Pokemon Go. Yep, there's one more trail to find. Yeah, so the final scent trail. Why'd you look so sad, Vixen? Is it because that little girl looks like she was very ill? You look very sad then, Vixen. What's the matter with you? Yeah, I think the final scent trail, if you've done it correctly, it should lead you to... Uh, it should lead you to, hopefully, Stripe. Perfect. Right, come on. Do we want to go this way? I don't think I do want to go that way. I know. I'm going to go the way I know. <laughs> I'm not going to follow the. I'm going to follow your directions. The only problem with holding food in your mouth is you can't yap at your uh, foxes. <laughs> so when they get a bit far behind. Oh, that's what I was going to say about the foxes being obedient. I like how as soon as you yap with your uh, vixen, all of the uh, cubs immediately start running. They're so obedient. They're such good children, aren't they? And when you're a mum and dad, you shout at your daughter or son. They, don't fucking, they listen sometimes. Most of the time they ignore, don't they? Or they give you some back chat. <laughs> these little cubs, nah, nah. But then again, I guess these little, these little guys know that if they ignore their mum, there's a possibility they're going to die. Whereas humans are just... They know they're fine. There's no consequences except maybe being grounded. <laughs> this is what literally the weather outside my window right now. I'm feeling very immersed at the moment. Why is there fire everywhere suddenly? They just burning all the rubbish here or something. I've only just noticed that. Was that has that been here the whole time? I've got no idea. Oh shit! No, no! Quick! God, that's fucking a man! Jesus! Are hey, you alright, little buddy? You alright? I'm so fucking sorry. If that if that had killed my cub then, at this moment in the game, that's for comfort in a scared cub. <laughs> Which obviously we haven't had to worry about until this very much. If I had lost my cub then, I swear, I would have been... Oh, Oh god, I'd have been livid. Wonder if our badger friend is gonna greet us with a lovely berry. 
No idea where they're finding these delicious berries. I should have known that that uh, wasn't going to be the last scent trail because the scavenger's up there. He shouldn't be up there when you follow the last one. Oh, oh, hello. Where are you getting these berries? Where you got this fucking berry stash from? <laughs> Every time we come home, you little cutie. And we're on full hunger as well now. I love how the vixen is just watching out the door every time there's a man near it. Look at her. She's such an, uh, such an alert mum. I really love foxes. Honestly, I reckon if wolves didn't exist in the world, and if cheetahs didn't exist in the world, then I think foxes. Foxes are probably my third favourite animal. To me, a fox is just a combination of a cat and a dog. <laughs> there's literally a cat and a dog. It's just funny how much the foxes in my area I love my dog Sammy, who is a German Shepherd, because she just looks like a fox. <laughs> right, this should be the final scent trail. Right, you're not going to eat this just yet, because you're still full on hunger. Right, you can have a nap, though. Oh, it's like a scavenger's backpack, ain't it? Oh yeah, look, there's his gas mask. That makes him look like a slick from Oddworld. Oh, he's obviously asking all of the scumbags in the area for help. To be honest, mate, I've got no sympathy for you. I mean, you've, been, you've, you've stolen our kid, and you were going to sell it, and it would have been killed after you had sold it. So our kid would have been dead because of you. And now your kid's in trouble, suddenly you want all of the sympathy. How do you think our vixen has been feeling for the whole of this game, you scavenger scum? I know they're doing it to make money for their daughter, but I don't give a shit. I'm just talking from the vixen's perspective, you know, what she'd be thinking. Like, if this dude had stolen my kid to sell my kid to someone for money, I wouldn't give a shit about his own kid. I don't give a crap, you stole my kid. <laughs> That's all I care about. <laughs> oh, hello. How are you doing, Stripe? The only cub that looks like a fox. <laughs> oh, little buddy. Yep, your other three siblings are still alive. I did a very good job in this. Oh, I definitely ran around. Now's probably the hardest trophy in the game, to be honest. I don't want to do this, but for the trophy and for you guys and girls, I'll do it. Maybe it'll wake this guy up and he'll stop being horrible to animals. Oh man. <sighs> Alright man, but Fox come up and did that to me. Man, it brought tears to my eyes then. <laughs> no, I, just, I fucking love animals.
Oh, come on, you. Come on, you four. I was going to say, you three. <laughs> come on, you four. Oh, there we go. We got the pack back together again. I don't know if you can call it a pack of foxes, but I'm going to call it a pack. They're basically just small wolves anyway. <laughs> oh, look at those colourful little skittles. Look at them. Oh, how you doing, Stripe, buddy? Now, we never give up on you. I told you we'd come after you. Don't worry, buddy. You didn't have to worry about it. Your life was not in danger whatsoever. We was planning on eating the scavenger. That was the uh, original goal, but then obviously he had to lose his daughter, so we had to. Yeah, we had to let him let him off. <sighs> Unfortunately, although my hunger bar is getting very low, and I don't think there's much to eat. Hopefully, our badger friend will have uh, some takeaway ready for us when we get back, some Deliveroo. But I don't know if it's a guarantee. Well, I suppose there is a. Oh fuck off! Fuck off, you little shit wank. Fucking bite your balls off. Great, now I got a limp. Bastard. To be honest, it's better that we bit him, because if we didn't bite him, we would have we had to have run back, and we would have been far away from our home. So, to be honest, it's probably... It's probably beneficial that we've, we've got, you know, hurt, so we can sneak past him, walk past him, I should say. Badger? Badger, is it? Have you got it? Have you got some delivery for us? Oh, Badger, you are a hero. Oh, you are a hero, you are. There's four people to feed now, though. So we're going to... Might need to up the amount of berries you're finding. <laughs> I'm still pissed at that badger as it showed me its stash. It's got like a drug stash somewhere of berries. Okay. I don't know how, how long we have to continue on for until the next event happens. I'm not even sure what happens for the next event. I think it might be night 30 when it all starts to head towards the epilogue, I guess. Right, we'll just we'll focus on getting a little bit of food. Oh, let me show you the disarm uh, ability. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Simba has learned how to disarm traps. Please don't. Oh, I fucking knew it. I had a really bad feeling. That's why you should always follow your intuition. Or oh, that gut feeling. You should follow the. You should always follow your gut. Honestly, Wolf Wolf, that's the amount of times that, uh, my, I've had a gut feeling, I've ignored it, and I was right. Honestly, if you have a feeling in your gut, then. I would say listen to it. Unless you're somebody that's very like, you know, that overreacts a lot. If you're someone that overreacts a lot, then maybe don't follow your gut. Because <laughs> then you're probably going to make the wrong choice. Right, let's go and eat some more stale berries. I can hear an owl. What are you doing? Put the food down, Vixen. <laughs> Come on, eat your rotten berry. Right, other than that, I don't know where any food is. I've got no idea where to find food now. <laughs> I don't know where there's any berries. I don't know where that fox den leads to as well. That owl needs to piss off. Well, we're at, oh, actually, I could see a, I could see an egg up there. Let's see if we can get to the egg. I've got no idea how I was supposed to get to that. Maybe up. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's that? What's that? Fuck's sake! <laughs> Fucking rubbish. Oh, I keep I keep tapping X. All you got to do is hold it down. Right, maybe over here. 
We haven't been this way before. How come there's no egg there? That's bullshit. Alright, let's have a look down here. I'm assuming we haven't been down here. I mean, we're going to end up getting really hungry if Vixen keeps doing that. Oh, but what is that? <laughs> I found a mother load. Don't worry, I'm coming back. I think I might have found you a bag of Walker's crisps. Oh, it's not looking like it's going to give us much. How was that a burger? <laughs> How the fucking hell was that a burger? I feel like this video might be a bit longer. Yeah, we're already past the 30 minute mark. So it's going to be a bit of a longer video. Which is all good. It's all good. Not like I've got anything to do. I've got six weeks. Well, now I've got a month off work. And I've still technically got to go to work tomorrow to do the last little bit of holiday cleaning. Yeah, you can go fuck yourself, buddy. I think I might be going the wrong way. For God's sake. Well, fingers crossed. Mr. Mrs. Badger has brought us some... Uh, Uber Eats. I'm not going to keep advertising Deliveroo. We've switched over to Uber Eats. Next it'll be just eat. Oh fuck! Who put that outside our house? Badger? Badger? Oh no, Badger! <laughs> oh. Alright, the next morning's going to be a bit rough maybe, depending on if this is the final night. No, Badger is still here. I think Badger was just too busy. Maybe Badger only likes Deliveroo, not Uber Eats. <laughs> oh no, it is the ending bit then, yeah. Night 30 is the end. Oh, there goes Badger. Oh, at least Badger made it out. Huh? You flipping left me behind, little devils. <laughs> Don't, don't lose your minds just yet. Don't lose your minds just yet. If that was the ending, trust me, I wouldn't have played the game on YouTube. Look at those broken wind turbines in the background. Oh, that was horrible. I heard a little whimper at my uh, control. Right, I think we need to come back this way first. I think we need to... Yeah, look. All our bloody cubs are stuck in the tar. You alright, you lot? Right, you do not... Do not... Follow me, Simba. Simba, don't follow me. 
Come on, Scar. You stay there. Be a good boy, Scar. Stitch. Not sure how the hell you four managed to get in here to begin with. Little troublemakers. And you. Stripe, you've only just got yourself out of trouble. What are you doing? Right, everybody here? Just make sure you comfort your foxes during this section because your, your foxes just ain't happy. Ah, look, hey, 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 the elf, the elf finally got his comeuppance. <laughs> Fuck you, Al. <laughs> nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, honestly, Al, I, I love you too. I also love owls, I love all animals, but still. Don't you bullied my little cubs. <laughs> you tried to kill them. Oh! Oh, you fuckers. Man, I really wanted to send a message with this game, didn't I? I'm the worst person to be playing this game. Ah. <laughs> uh. Jesus. That means the ending is going to be the ending. I guess there's just one ending. I was really hoping that maybe if you save the fox, uh, the badger, maybe it changes something. What the fuck do you... Oh look, he's got... He's taken the, uh, the scavenger's gun. Prick. Right, come on you four, I want you on my towel at all times. I know you're tired and hungry and thirsty, I don't care. On my towel at all times, you four. Just make sure you watch your cubs, because sometimes they get tired and you have to... Go and comfort them or yeah. Like that, because otherwise they'll get left behind, I think. <laughs> oh, I love you for I love you little ones. Come on, Stitch. I know you're disappointed that you're not blue anymore, but come on. Because as always, we're just trying to make our way to safety. As we've been doing throughout the whole game. We've been in a beautiful area, then it's been taken over by mankind and we've had to move to a new area. Then it's been taken over by mankind, chicken factories and all the other crap and deforest deforestization. And then we went to another area and it was just covered in junk and crap. Hey look, baby badger, uh, mama, mama badger. I hated that bit man, that poor little baby. No, 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 Stripe, come on, you've survived your life in a cage. You've lived in a cage, buddy, come on, little legend. Look at that fluffy towel. <sighs> come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> There you go, buddy. You all right, or do you need a... Oh, you need to be comforted, do you? Come on, buddy. It's all right, Scar. It's all right. Come on. Come on, Scar. That's it. That's it. You're a big, tough boy. Look at the, look at the flipping menace you was in The Lion King. You should, This should be easy for you. You're, you literally live in a place like this with the hyenas in the movie. This should be nothing to you, Scar. <laughs> You're right at home right now. Oh, what happened there? What'd you just start playing for? Oh. Oh, maybe dis <laughs> Sorry, Stripe. <laughs> I 
<laughs> like a strike. He spent his whole time in a cage, barely having a walk, and now he's like, I don't know how to use my legs, I need help. <laughs> right, is that better? There we go, he's had a little rest now. <laughs> he's had a little rest now. Ah, uh, we're starting to see some greenery again, though. You bar fuck bastard made me jump. Oh shit, no, no, run! Oh! Oh, Badger's here! Oh, please, please let this change the ending. Oh, please let this change the ending, please. No, Vixen, hurry up! Go fuck yourself, you prick. I hope you die from the most horrible disease known to man. And I hope it stings. Fucking arsehole. Well, uh, Hero Beat Studios, I hope you're happy with yourselves. I hope you're proud of yourselves. <sighs> yeah, the mother fox died. And I I'm guessing, because of the choices we've made in this game, I'm guessing maybe Mother Badger will look after the cubs. But um, so I guess it's a slightly better ending. Because off camera, I never knew about the badger. The only experience I had with the badger off camera before I replayed the game was it growling at me every time I went near its fish. And then I rescued Mother Badger from that cage. And then it growled at me again. And then it gave me that one berry once, and that was it. But I never rescued the baby, so I never had all of that nice meat in. I never had the takeaway deliveries. I didn't have any of that. Obviously, the point of this game is to show you the effects that humans have on the planet and what they do to animals and the way they treat animals. I get the message. I didn't need this game to tell me the message. I'm very aware of what people do. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I guess it's good to uh, open some people's eyes. But, yeah, I, I didn't like the ending at all. You know, maybe if you had rescued the badger, I feel like maybe her, her digging the hole with me should have got me through quicker. That's what I was hoping for, but apparently not. Uh, this say extinction is forever though. That's the, the whole bloody point. But yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching Wolf Mobets. Hopefully you enjoyed this game. I, I did love the game. It's a very clever idea. It's got a good kind of message, a good kind of story. It's all been done in a very clever way, to be honest. But just, obviously the ending. You, you didn't have to do that, Hero Beat Studios. Come on. But you know, anyway. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share, and join the pack today. <laughs>